So today I'm talking about a comment I received, and it's, it wasn't a derogatory comment, it was just someone's opinion, which, you know, is fine. Um, and I'm sure a lot of pe people have the same opinion. And it was about the Canon R5. Um, you know, why did you end up, for the, your professional side, using, you're picking that camera, it's so boring. And, you know, the funny thing is this, the, the fact that this camera is boring makes it the most exciting camera in the world to me. You know, I'm going to go back a little bit, um, and, you know, some of you old timers will, will get this instantly, and some of you young people will never have the opportunity to get this, and I feel bad for you that you don't. <clears throat> you may see it differently. Um, but I'm going to go back to the record days where, you know, we actually got vinyl for our music, and there was record stores, and the excitement that we had on a new album release uh, from a band. It, I mean, it really was exciting. They, they'd give you a release date and you'd literally go stand in line at the, at the stores waiting for this album to be released. The doors open, you go in and buy it. And then on occasion, the band would show up at the record store and they'd sign your album. It was fun. It was, it was something to look forward to. And now you just click download and it's downloading. Um, not to mention the album art was always phenomenal. Uh, you know, those fold out. It, it was, we, we just had a lot to look forward to. And photography, it was the same way when we shot film. You know, you, you had to send your film out and, or you, you know, take it to the lab and you wait for it to get done and, you know, pray to God, especially with the weddings and so forth, everything was right. Um, you know, that part I don't miss because I don't miss the anxiety that, that used to come with waiting for your film to come back. But, um, you know, we, we had the, the genuine excitement of shooting and, you know, rather than going home and editing for hours and days on end, <laughs> you know, we just sent it out and waited for the prints to come back and we're done. <laughs> um, that was pretty exciting. Uh, you know, it was a lot easier in that aspect because, you know, you didn't have all that extra time that you're sitting on the computer tweaking every little thing. You, you know, what you got is what you got. Um, unless you did your own developing and then you tweaked it in the dark room, which was fun as well. Um, and, and I'm getting back into the black and white um, developing myself just because I miss it, not for professional use, just for, uh, you know, my fishing trip kind of use. But, you know, the cameras back then, as I've said before, you, you just had, you know, this camera, this lens, um, you know, our excitement came from magazines and, you know, it was a magazine ad for a camera or an article on a camera. There wasn't as much <clears throat> out there like YouTube and so forth telling you this lens is the greatest, this lens is the greatest and so forth. You, you had the camera. Um, the exciting part came from shooting it and came from the prints and, you know, the actual photographs. And there's no longer that excitement. The excitement is more geared towards gear <laughs> than the photos themselves. So, you know, when this person said, oh, you know, why would you pick that camera? It's boring. Well, that's, you know, that's the thing. Like if I don't have to think about this camera and I can concentrate on my subject and shooting my subject and making the best images I can with this being out of the way. Um, and it technically, I mean, like, it is completely out of the way once you learn how to use it. Um, you know, it's, uh, you know, I like to this day, I'm still shocked to say this about Canon um, because like I said, I haven't shot them for years and years and years and had a bad experience with them. Um, and everybody, I'm sure, has had a bad experience with one camera company or another. And it, and they could say anything on here. It doesn't have to say Canon. But just the, the camera fits for what I'm shooting when I'm shooting it. And I don't have to think about it. I can just shoot and enjoy the shoot and concentrate on the subject versus the camera. Now, like with the X-Pro and uh, the X-Pro3 and the film cameras I have and... I enjoy the look of the camera. Yes. You know, the aesthetics of a camera, it's, it's great. But when I'm shooting, the aesthetics don't matter. Like, I don't care what the man next to me thinks of my gear. I care what the subject and or the client thinks of the images. And I think a lot of people are really missing out on the actual joy of photography because they are so sucked up into gear. 
um, you know, and the acquiring new gear and, you know, what's the best lens and what's the sharpest and, you know, like, yeah, I like sharp images so like the next guy, but there's very few lenses out there, you know, from a camera manufacturer that are not great lenses. Um, honestly, they're just, there's just not that many. Yeah, there are some that are clinically sharper than everything, <laughs> but, you know, what are you after in photography? You know, if you are into photography for the joy of buying gear, that's one thing. Um, but to say, well, that's a boring camera, you know, as a photographer that actually shoots and gets excited by the finished product, it's not boring to me at all. It's, you know, this boring aspect. And, and I know where this person was coming from. Absolutely. You know, look at this camera on the shelf. It's boring. You know, you look at a pile of Legos that haven't been, you know, that's boring. But put those Legos in the right hands, they become a work of art and they're not so boring anymore. It's the same thing with a camera. You know, um, yes, to many this will be boring until they learn how to use it. And then the images that come out of it, they don't make it so boring anymore. Anyway, so... As I do understand the aesthetics of a camera, and I'm, I myself love the look of a great camera, don't get me wrong, my main goal, 100% main goal, is what I can create with this, not how it looks. So when I'm shooting professionally, and, and shooting for myself as well, um, you know, I want a camera that is out of my way, that is boring. <laughs> Um, because it does what it's supposed to do. So, you know, think about that and, you know, make your camera not boring by shooting it and learning how to shoot it and learning how to shoot it well. Um, I promise you the boring aspect will go away and you'll go, it's not so boring anymore um, because it does what it's supposed to do. Anyway, um, have a great day and uh, I hope this helps.